Take a look. Which two animals do you see in this image? There's two, so look. I'm looking at it like, what the heck is this? It looked like my ex. Oh, uh, hecka yecka, you got it right. Hecka yecka. Here's the answer, it's a frog, right? But then, you flip it and reverse it, it's your feminipus fine here, people. It's a horse. <laughs> it's a frog and a horse. It's saying it's a frost. Yeah. Hecka yecka. Hecka yecka. You did it, baby. We got 45 seconds till we kick this game off. Yeah, yeah. Do we got another puzzle? Yay? No? All right. Well, that was it. That was a puzzle. Now it's time to get to the game. The reason we're here to get this money. Money. Yeah, baby. 30 seconds until we do what it do. Oh, shoot. Look at you. All right, babies. Brace yourselves. Do your little finger stretches or whatnot, what have you, and get ready to focus. Lock it in. Here we go. 17, 16, 15, 14. Oh, it's happening. Right now, nothing to it but to HQ it. Let's kick it off with question number one. Here we go. Whose opening number at the Billboard Music Awards has been criticized for being too similar to Beyonce, Montel Jordan, Led Zeppelin, or Taylor Swift? Hmm, who's it gonna be? To be fair, neither of these artists invented marching bands, but Taylor is getting some heat for using one right after Beyonce did in Homecoming. Taylor Swift, baby, 119,738. Just got that. Now, personally, when I saw it, I was like, this looks familiar. What is happening? But you know, Beyonce don't own marching bands. Granted, she did it way better. Uh, hey! <laughs> the questions start out easy, but they get harder as the game goes on. So don't get caught on a tough one without an extra life. You get them by inviting your friends to sign up with your code, by playing five days in a row, or you just buy one. Tap, tap, tap away! Yes. All right, question number two, y'all ready? Here we go. The official motto of the United States is, in God we what? Confide, invest, or trust? What's it gonna be? Time is almost up. Come on, baby. Confide and invest all you want. The motto says trust. <laughs> trust me on that. Yeah, there's a few national models you'll find on much of the money we print, and most of them are in Latin. But starting in 1956, we made the official motto, In God We Trust, 126,330 are trusting themselves and getting it right. Okay, question three. Which of these casino games is traditionally played with dice? Kino, roulette, or craps? Big money, come on. If, you, if you've ever been to a casino, you should have the answer to this one. Right? I mean, it's also how you'd feel if you lose all your money. Craps! <laughs> Rule number one for casinos is only bet what you can afford to lose because the house always wins. Rule number two, don't roll dice at the roulette table, okay? Because you're gonna look like a fool. Craps is the answer, babies. 115,130 are doing it. Yeah! Ah, shake em up, shake em up, shake em up, shake em! Yeah. <laughs> okay, here we go, question number four. Where is human life believed to have begun? Africa, Asia, or Europe? What's it gonna be? What is it gonna be? Life on Earth goes back billions of years. Humans, a lot less than that. But our ancestor species really got around the globe. Scientist Intel says that anatomically modern humans, or Homo sapiens, first arose in East Africa. East side, woo hoo, 103,382. Knew what to do, homo sapiens. That's right now, for sure. Okay, question number five. I, 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 question five, question five. I, 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 question five. Yeah. Woo! All right, 
A high school in New Jersey recently made headlines for staging what horror film as its spring play? Alien, Psycho, or Predator? Hmm. What's it gonna be? North Bergen High in New Jersey went the extra mile this year, and they did such a good job building and staging this film that Sigourney Weaver herself showed up for their final production of Alien. One of the scariest movies Look at that. of all time. <laughs> That's great, kids. That is dope. One day, I hope a high school does an HQ play. That would be cool. I wonder who's gonna play me. All right, 69,272. Uh, got it right on Alien. You're avoiding them face huggers. Rah! Question number six. Here we go. In the 19th century, where would you have most likely seen a cuspidor? Stable, saloon, or jail? 19th century, we're looking for a cuspidor. Where are you most likely to have seen one? You don't see many of these items anymore, but it's not because they just made it into an app. Although that would be amazing. It's because far fewer people are chewing tobacco, so they just don't need cuspidors or spittoons in modern bars. You would have seen them in a saloon. Ba-ding! Yes, 73,443. Got it right. There were so many spittoons in every, like, Looney Tunes. Remember that? Bugs Bunny. Just be, okay. Cool. Question number seven. Let's go. The New York Times publishes its most difficult crossword on which day of the week? Friday, Saturday, or Sunday? Any time subscriber can tell you that the puzzles tend to escalate in difficulty during the week, climaxing in a jumbo-sized puzzle with about a Wednesday difficulty on Sunday, but the real brain basher comes out on Saturday. Just like HQ, smarter day, 14,000. Ooh, ooh, yowza, hold up. Oh my, oh, oh my gosh. Whew, that's a savage question. Savage question song. Sorry you got it wrong. Savage question song. That's a savage question song. Woo! 14,737 got that one. 86,000 of you thought it was Sunday. The difficult puzzles on Saturdays, baby. That's word to everyone. Question number eight. Hope you're feeling great. Which of these is a brand of cough drop? Mills Brothers, Hills Brothers, or Smith Brothers? Who's it gonna be? All right. Many great companies were started by brothers. Did y'all know that? A coffee company that exists to this day was started in 1900 by three Hills brothers. The Mills brothers were a singing act, but it was Father James and then brothers Bill and Andrew Smith that made cough drops. Smith brothers. Ooh, ooh, 33, 32,385. Just got that one right. We're on the way to question number nine, babies. Let's get it. Here we go. Question number nine. Which is not one of the six Celtic nations? Cornwall, Brittany, or Isle of Wight? What's it gonna be? Check it out, you got your Boston Celtics, and then you got your OG Celtics. Ireland and Scotland are the easy ones, but then you have Wales and Cornwall, and of all places, part of France is Celtic, is Brittany. Uh, Last is the Isle of Man, not the Isle of Wight. Yeah. Isle of Wight, 17,961, got it right. It's time to get ready for question number 10, my friends. Here we go again, time to get it in. Ow. I feel really good today. This is a dope day. I like the blue, it's got me feeling all fresh and springy. Word. Fresh and springy. Here we go. Question number 10. Who performs the song played right after the Boston Red Sox win a home game? The Standells, Dropkick Murphys, or Neil Diamond? The Standells, Dropkick Murphys, or Neil Diamond? Speaking of Boston, in their 118-year uh, history, lots of songs have attached themselves to the Sox. In the eighth inning of every home game, you'll hear, Sweet Caroline, oh, oh, oh. But uh, since 1997, if it's a win at Fenway, they crank Dirty Water by the Standells. Whoa! Oh my gosh! That's another savage question, y'all. Savage question twice! 
Sandales is right! Savage question to Woo! Yowza! Uh, the Standells is the answer I was looking for. 2,294 got it. Neil Diamond, that's the eighth inning, babies. Ooh. Ooh. Question 11, all dogs go to heaven. Here we go. What nation is this island a part of? Take a look. Ooh, what's it gonna be? Somalia, Oman, or Yemen? Mmm, what nation is that island a part of? At the top, you saw some of the geography of, you know, where it was at. What's it gonna be? Just when you think you've mastered African geography, along comes Socrota. Socotra, saying, don't forget me. I said the name wrong, but I didn't forget it because they got 60,000 residents. And while tectonically it's part of Africa, its laws come from Sana'a, Yemen. Yemen, yeah man, there you go. Yeah, y'all came to play 4,287, got that one right. Oh my goodness, it's time for the final question of the game. Question 12, what's that smell? Smells like money, follow me at Matt, what's funny? Woo, question 12, I said question 12. Oh, you gotta go like this when you say, question 12. <laughs> gotta get it from the soul, question 12, Woo. <laughs> Okay, woo, got the giggles. DC Comics is named after the comic book in which what superhero first appeared? Superman, Batman, or The Flash? Who's it gonna be? Back in the, in the days when these guys were introduced, the publisher was called National Allied Publications. Boring! They later took on the name of one of their popular titles, Detective Comics, issue 27 of which had the first appearance of the Batman. Batman! 2010, just one HQ trivia. Congratulations! <laughs> oh, I'm feeling so giggly today. Man, man oh man, it's a beautiful spring day, You're giving money away, hey, 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 yeah, everybody got a dollar, holla, all right now, Ponch22, Nicholas Con, uh, Lorraine, what's up Lorraine, I da Dinesh, rare kitten, that looks like a regular kitten to me, but okay, uh, Annie Ahmed, Jasmine Eve for, hello, Polly. <laughs> Congratulations to everybody, all 2010 of the winners that just won HQ Trivia. Y'all did that, fam. I keep clapping, cause I, I watched a lot of Cardi B today. Yes, basically, y'all just won HQ Trivia. Okay, okay, yes, you did it. I've been your host, Matt Richards. Follow me here on the socials at Matt Was Funny. HQ is back with Shrek Night tonight. Trivia at 9 p.m., then words at 9.30. Y'all have an awesome day. Be good to each other. I love you.